Hello everyone. How to create and manage pass keys on Windows 11? Firstly, let's understand what are the pass keys. You can say that pass keys are a secure alternative to password when you are signing in to websites, apps that support the authentication standard. By authentic authentication standard, standard, I mean the pass key. Now, uh, this feature uh, isn't only available inside Windows. However, it is also available inside uh, other products such as the Apple computers and then the social media giant application like the Twitter um, or you can call it X. There is eBay, Amazon, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, PayPal and many more other websites that support the passkey option. Now, if we go a little bit into the technical uh, about the passkey, we can say that a passkey is a t uh, technically a token that you can create on your website account and download that inside your Windows uh, using the Windows Hello. And then the next time that you uh, try to access that website uh, instead of the password, you can just simply go ahead and use the Windows Hello, uh, such as the fingerprint or the facial recognition to simply go ahead and sign in there. Now, this is or you can say that this approach is more secure compared to using the password. Now, according to Microsoft, uh, passkeys uh, is making harder for hackers to compromise the credentials or passkeys are fish resistant, recoverable and faster for the users. So this is a simple explanation of what are the passkeys. And now let's go ahead and try creating a passkey in Windows 11. Firstly, I am going to use the uh, Microsoft, sorry, the Google account to simply go ahead, create a passkey for it. Uh, since these websites support the passkey, you can use the Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome browser. At the moment, Firefox is not supporting the passkey option. So all you have to do is just simply, firstly, you have to make sure that you are signed in using your Gmail account. As you can see, myaccount.google.com, you have to press that and it's going to take you to the uh, Google account control center. And then following that, you have to go to the security uh, and now go to scroll down and you can see that uh, under the two-step verification, you will notice pass keys and security key option is available. All you have to do is just simply click on that. And now it is asking you to enter the password that you have. So let me go ahead and enter the password. I sure hope I have remembered that. Okay, once you are here, all you have to do is just simply create a use pass keys or if you have not set up any pass key, you have to simply click on create a pass key, which I am going to do that. Now it is asking that you can use other devices as a pass key, for instance, your mobile device, or if your computer has the Windows Hello or the fingerprint option, you can use it. So in my case, I'll be using my finger. So all I have to do is just simply press my finger and you can see it is asking that the pass key has been saved into the settings of the Windows. This is as simple as that. So you can see it's saying that you can now use your fingerprint, face, screen lock or hardware security key to verify that it is you when you are trying to sign in. You can see that is as simple as that. Now the next time when you try to access um, log in into the Gmail of yours, it's going to uh, ask you to use the pass key or uh, enter a password. Let's go ahead and try that using the incognito mode. Firstly, let's go ahead and type gmail.com. Now go ahead, enter your email address. That is uh, 12360 at gmail.com. And now it's asking to enter a password. In my case, I will be uh, simply trying the another way since we want to try the pass key. Now it's saying that use a pass key. Just simply press on that and now go ahead. Okay, click continue. Just simply among the other options, there was the pin, the fingerprint, the screen lock. I used the fingerprint to sign in. So as you can see, this is as simple as drinking water. Okay, that is the very, the first part that you can simply go ahead and set up the passkey in Windows 11. However, the other question is, 
uh, how to manage uh, the POS key in Windows 11. Apparently, every POS key that you are creating on every website it is going to be saved into the accounts on your Windows 11. You can delete it anytime that you want uh, from the Windows 11 too. However, I recommend that let it be there since uh, you are trying to sign in with it into the websites. So, in order to see those uh, POS keys that are saved into inside your computer, all you have to do is open the settings app. I have pressed the Windows plus I to open the settings app. Now, following that, you have to go to the accounts and now you can see there is the account section. Go to there and now you have to scroll down and you will notice there is the POS key settings that uh, is available. So just click on that and now you will notice that or you will see uh, where the POS keys are attached or available. As you can see, it is available in this Gmail of mine and this Gmail of mine and this Microsoft account. So this is as simple as that. Now let me go ahead and answer a few security questions, uh, a few questions related to the POS key. Now, firstly, uh, let me make it clear that the POS key in Windows is only available inside the Windows 11, 22H2, 23H2 and the higher releases of the uh, Windows 11. And POS keys are only uh, available inside the browsers like the uh, Microsoft, sorry, the Google Chrome and the Microsoft Edge and the other uh, browsers that are based on the Google Chrome. Unfortunately, uh, the POS key is not available currently with the Firefox that people are or the open source community that they are using it a lot. You can always use your phone to, uh, you can always use your phone as a POS key in order to log in inside your Gmail or other uh, website that support it. The other question is, what happens if I lose the device with the POS key? Now, if you lose your phone, you can still access your account using the POS key stored on your computer. If you haven't created a POS key on your computer, you can continue accessing the service with the regular password. Still, that is an option. The other question is, do POS keys turn off password authentication on the account? Well, to put it in simply, no. When using a POS key, you do not remove the password authentication from the service application. You are only creating a token to make it easier for you to sign in and minimize the chances of your credentials being compromised. Now, if your password is compromised, the malicious individuals can access the account. If you know that your password has been compromised, it's best to change it immediately. So. This is all the uh, details that I know so far about the POS key and based on that I have created a video for you and this is for you. So for now, have a nice day, goodbye and I'll meet you guys in the next video.